Hey everybody and welcome back to the Slow Blink Anime Channel. Today we are going over 20 differences from the anime Tonikawa. Tonikawa or Tonikaku Kawaii is an anime based off the manga written by Kenjiro Hata about a mysterious girl who saves the life of a motivated boy and agrees to date him only if they get married first. Information about the manga chapters will be at the end of the video and in the description so let's get started. One of the first things that stood out to me while comparing the anime and the manga is that Tsukasa's outfits were definitely simplified for the anime. It was probably for continuity and ease of animation which I completely understand. That being said, let me show you what we missed out on. A lot of it's just the anime making the clothes more plain with less of a design. In other cases, it's Tsukasa changing clothes in the manga when she doesn't in the anime. But in other cases, it's to make it more family friendly for the TV version it seems. And this is something I'll bring up later in another difference. Lastly, Nasa also had his style streamlined, but it's mainly just them removing the graphic that's on his hoodie that he wears. Tonikawa anime makes it a big deal that the couple wanted to document every day of their lives together and capture these memories. It was only really important for a few chapters in the manga, but the anime included it in more scenes where it did not appear. One scene is when Nasa was sick and Tsukasa took a picture of him while he was sleeping. This is true for other episodes and also for the last one as well. The anime follows the first chapters of the manga very closely with only insignificant changes. One major thing that was left out is how Tsukasa was even more involved in saving his life. You can see here in the manga that not only did Tsukasa protect him from the truck, but after he passed out she apparently took him to the hospital herself and forced her way in to make sure his life was saved. This made me look at Tsukasa with even more respect than I did before, which was already a lot. Starting out in both the anime and the manga, Tsukasa is a lot more reserved in her demeanor before she eventually comes out of her shell. In the anime, she reaches that point a lot sooner and starts showing more emotion pretty much by the second episode. In the manga, even in later chapters, she maintains that half-open eye look that's more of a nonchalant anime character characteristic. And here are some examples of what I mean with a more cool look that Tsukasa had. And it's even brought up throughout the manga by Nasa himself. Something I loved in the manga when I was reading is the slogan that was on the bathhouse that was not included in the anime. The Arisugawa bathhouse has a slogan that says, The water in this bathhouse has no magical properties at all. Nothing good for your health either. To be frank, we chlorinate the water. And it's just funny because they're doing the opposite of trying to trick people to come into the bathhouse. Instead, they're just being straight up and honest with you. It kind of flip-flops in this area of which medium is willing to be more explicit in what they show, but I have some examples here to show you. In episode 3, the anime shows more of the girls while they are in the bath inside of Nasa's imagination, but the manga makes a joke saying that where Tsukasa is covered up by bubbles will be removed for the novel release. In episode 4, the anime calls Chitose's plan to break up Nasa and Tsukasa tabloid journalism, but in the manga, she calls it a sex scandal. This may just be the best translation we could get without it sounding too sexual. In the same episode, Charlotte pulls down her top all the way in the anime and it isn't wearing anything underneath. In the manga, she just kind of pulls it down but she is wearing a bra and didn't show too much. Another one for this episode is the photoshop picture of Nasa and Charlotte. The anime version wasn't too bad but in the manga they went really far with it and it was definitely more explicit as you can see here on the screen. Moving on to episode 6, when Nasa walks in on Tsukasa changing, in the manga it shows her panties a bit but in the anime it doesn't show anything at all. The next one happens in episode 10 and it's when Nasa feeds Tsukasa the melon and I don't think I have to say too much for this one. Then the last notable one is that in episode 12 the anime has Tsukasa wearing an undershirt for this part. It kind of went back and forth on which one was more explicit but I think the manga wins by a little bit. This is a pretty significant part that was left out of the anime and it worries me about the possibility of having a second season for the show and that's because it doesn't set up for future arcs. Here's what was left out of the anime about Tokiko. In episode 3, at the very end it shows us that Chitose was in the car watching Tsukasa. In the manga, it adds to the scene by showing us an older lady, Tokiko-san, receiving a phone call while on a very high floor of a building. Next, in episode 4, Chitose refers to Tokiko-san as great-grandmother, but in the manga she calls her great-aunt. I'm not sure if it's a translation thing or if they're trying to give us information about the relationship they have. Lastly, in episode 5, in this scene, Nasa turns the TV off after the show he was watching, but this leaves out the biggest difference. In the manga, the news is playing and it mentions that Tsukiyomi Tokiko has resigned from her job as of yesterday due to some health problems she was having. We also find out that she was an important politician. This gives us background as to where Tsukasa came from and why they have a good amount of money. Tsukasa catches this news but hurries them out before Nasa can learn anything else. 
The moment we get the flashback was changed a bit in the manga because we get this information right away. It happens towards the end of the episode 4 in the anime version though. The big change here is that while Chitose was on the edge, she slips and Tsukasa saves her in a more dramatic way in the anime. In the manga, she's still on the edge but Tsukasa only has to reach her hand out and Chitose grabs it. I'm sure this one was definitely for copyright reasons, but in the manga, Charlotte came in swinging the Dragon Slayer from Berserk. And here's a side by side of what I'm talking about for those of you who haven't read the Berserk manga. In the anime, they changed the colors to red and yellow and even changed the design some. As a Berserk fan, I really enjoyed seeing it in the manga. The anime cuts out almost the entirety of chapter 15, but it was justified because it was pretty dialogue heavy. In this chapter, we see Tsukasa talking about a bunch of movies, especially the Marvel movies which she apparently loves. Next, it shows them as they arrive at a movie rental store and they separate to find their selections. Nasa ends up in the 18 plus section and then bumps into Kaname. She says she was getting some ecchi and hentai anime and then recommends a movie called Nasuta to Nasa because it will get a girl horny. Her words. Nasa puts the movie away and Aya happens to see the whole interaction. The couple leaves the store and Tsukasa is loaded up on movies. Nasa says he likes her expressions when she talks about movies since she's normally cool and collected. This is the turning point in the manga when Tsukasa first starts to truly come out of her shell. Nasa's workplace is cut out from the anime. It is a restaurant called Soup Stop. We learn in the manga that it is a very popular restaurant for girls to go to. It makes sense that he would work there since he was hoping to bump into Tsukasa while he was working. At this job, Nasa serves, works the register, and manages the shifts and profits. In the manga, he even asks his boss if he could quit since there's no point because he's already found Tsukasa. Not a crazy difference, but I did notice that Nasa asked Tsukasa for a kiss and he mentions that he wants to keep his eyes open so he can see the kiss. He does keep them open in the anime, but not in the manga version. This one happens in episode 8 while visiting Nasa's parents. In the manga, while in Nasa's father's office, Nasa asks him to pull out a sword that he has on display. His dad is nervous to do so, but Tsukasa steps up and says that she wants to try by using the technique her father taught her. They step outside and Tsukasa is able to wield the sword masterfully and easily. Nasa's dad is shocked because the sword is supposed to be very heavy. This happens in chapter 29 if you want to read this part. While touring around Nara, the couple end up taking a selfie in the anime. In the manga, Tsukasa is reluctant to take a selfie so they end up asking a stranger walking by to take a picture of the two of them. Tsukasa still hangs on to Nasa in both versions. This is a tiny manga spoiler but I won't say more than I have to. In chapter 51 they get a visit from a certain character that I won't mention and the couple ends up adopting a small cat that they named Toast due to the white mark that he has on his back. The cat shows up in various other chapters but check out the manga since this wasn't in the anime. This is another chapter that was skipped and I hope it's not part of the OVA coming out so I don't spoil it. The chapter starts with Tsukasa making an Evangelion reference and moves on to her going through Kaname's dad's old otaku stuff. They find an old computer and Nasa is able to code a game made just for her called Love Important. This was changed quite a bit for the anime version and it covers chapters 41 through 44. The biggest thing about this episode is that Chitose and the maids are not there for the takoyaki party at all. So anything included in the anime regarding them is all made up just for the anime. Moving on towards the end of the episode, the eating after the tournament and then the cleanup was all anime only. Also the kiss at the end was too. The last thing included for the anime is Chitose seemingly giving her approval of their relationship at the very end as they are leaving. This definitely doesn't happen in the manga up to this point and she's still fighting against the relationship a little bit. Coming back to the tournament at the takoyaki party, there was quite a few changes. They use a PlayStation 4 controller in the manga, but an arcade controller in the anime version, and we get to see actual gameplay too. The game is Street Fighter in the anime, but it's called Straight Fight in the manga. Also in the manga, there isn't a tournament at all and they are just playing to compete against each other. Tsukasa is shown in the anime to put up a good fight against Aya, but in the manga there is a cut and then it tells us that she lost 20 games in a row. Tsukasa then decides to change up the game. In the anime, she pulls out an older version of Street Fighter, but in the manga she pulls out what looks like a Dreamcast. And this on screen is a Dreamcast if it's before your time. From Tsukasa's description of the game, it seems like they're playing Propeller Arena, but that's just my best guess from doing a Google search, but let me know if you think there's a better one that you think they're probably playing. So here we have another chapter that was completely skipped in the anime. In chapter 34, Kaname scolds Nasa for not taking Tsukasa on a date and that it's a chance to get to know your partner better. 
This leads to NASA shyly asking her and they decide to go to the aquarium. Upon arriving there, NASA shows how reliable he is by buying tickets online and then they head inside. He says he tries to be prepared for anything ahead of time and he imagines some scenarios in his head. And it's just scenarios like a new love interest arriving, running into a scary guy, a princess who looks like the heroine, and maybe even a rival appearing. But none of those things actually happen and the only problem they do have is that they can't see the front part of the penguins, only the underneath them. The chapter wraps up though with them finding out that when they both see fish, they feel like eating fish. This one is a little complicated to describe. It basically combines chapter 79, 80, and then jumps back to a part that was skipped in chapter 40. In episode 10, Nasa was supposed to wake up in the middle of the night and talk to Tsukasa about their marriage. Then they go to a shrine to pray, but in the anime they combine this moment while they are at the summer festival. Basically, the manga ends anime content at chapter 44 with a takoyaki party, then it skips very far ahead to chapter 79 and 80 where they go to the summer festival. But it also jumps back to 88 and 89 when Nasa got sick and Tsukasa was taking care of him. The Summer Festival episode wrapped up the season for us and we get a lot of anime only content for this one. Starting off, Kaname gave Tsukasa the idea to wear yukatas in the anime but Kaname wasn't part of this at all in the manga version. Nasa's yukata has a stripe design in the manga but it's solid in the anime. Then, just like the takoyaki party, the anime adds Chitose and Aya running the goldfish stand but none of the other characters are at the festival besides Nasa and Tsukasa in the manga. Next, while they are praying at the shrine, Kaname calls them and tells them they will miss the fireworks. But since the shrine visit already happened in the manga, they just notice the show starting and then they head over. Lastly, the group shot of them watching the fireworks does not happen since it's only Nasa and Tsukasa there in the manga. And that's all the major differences for this video guys, if you want to start reading the manga you can start at chapter 44 and there will be a few chapters that are covered in the anime already but that's the safest point to start. Let me know if you saw anything that I missed, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.